So we're in Hawaii and Volcano Summary this week. Earthquakes on Kilauea have picked back up. After a pause over the weekend, they slowed down significantly there. Didn't stop completely. But since Monday, have resumed again at these 200 to 300 earthquakes a day levels. It's a little bit lower than the previous week, where there were 300 or 400 earthquakes per day. But still, this is flaring up in the same area, the upper east rift connector of Kilauea and the South Caldera region. And here is a map of earthquakes for the past week that is colored by depth. And let's zoom it in here. So what you can see is this extension off of the main caldera here to the southeast. This is the upper east rift zone connector, sometimes just called the upper east rift. And then the south caldera area is this cluster that's just separate to the side right over here. So those are the two areas that are experiencing the most earthquakes right now. And that's because of intrusion of magma into this whole area from the summit, which is getting very pressurized. The USGS released an annotated satellite map showing the change in elevation over a two week period from mid April to early May. And the long and short of it is that the inflation is centered south of the caldera and southeast in this Kauai area that's west of the upper East Rift Zone. And likely all this pressurization in here is what's pushing to cause these earthquakes on the upper East Rift here. The total uplift measured by satellite is in excess of four inches, 11 centimeters. So the ground has been rising fairly quickly over the last two weeks in here. And if we look at our Sand Hill tilt meter, this green line shows that South Caldera component. And you can see here it's been rising steadily for all month, but that rate of ground tilt really picked up last week and is still continuing fairly high even as we speak now. So that's Kilauea. She's still pressurized and she still has room to stretch potentially. So we'll just wait and see what comes next there. As for Mauna Loa, earthquakes are very slow. This is the whole last month around Mauna Loa summit. And you see essentially background activity plotted with the small little dots across the board there. Maybe more useful is to look at this last year plot of depth versus time. And all the earthquakes we're seeing now were all the ones in here. So all shallower, and not at very high rates. But what's interesting in Mauna Loa is that over the last year, we've seen some of the deeper earthquakes come in a little less than a year ago, peaking with an event in October, November, and a couple of flare ups deep since then. And so, really, it's a, a very quiet period on Mauna Loa where not even the deep activity is happening. All quiet on Mauna Loa, Kilauea is still quaking, and we'll wait, let's see what comes next. And that's our Hawaiian Volcano Summary for this week.